All right, great. So now we're here. It's time to play the match. Um, patterns as far as starting out. You know, I, 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 when I played, which certainly nothing like you, I, I always thought in my mind, you know, I, since I'm a lefty, I'm going to go down the middle, out wide, down the middle, and then down the middle again to kind of show that I had that serve. And talking to you is very interesting. You as a serve volleyer, unless you're playing on clay, you like to go where when you start a match? Well, if I'm in a serve and volley, it's the start of the match. I, I'm going to play it reasonably tight to, to start with as far as serving tight into the body. Um, the main thing I want to try to get early on is to make sure that returns coming, uh, you know, to me, uh, back to me around about net height. I figured if I can get the, b the ball coming to me about net height for the first volley, I'm an 80% chance of winning the point because I can, I can knock that volley down line, cross court off either side and pretty close to the lines. And, and I think that's very interesting because I think that's like an afterthought for most rec players. You know, I consider myself a rec player to where, you know, I'm thinking about hitting corners and then, you know, maybe on a big point all of a sudden going to the body where you're going after the body right away. Well, the, the, the thing that people make a mistake today on serving and volleying is they try to win the point with their serve. That's not the objective. The objective is to serve the ball so that you're going to get a reasonably, a reasonably good shot at your volley. So I'd start off now and, and serve this uh, first ball tight into the backhand, coming into the backhand and then come into the net after it. It was that was tied in on the forehand, Hand but that's all right. I yeah. don't mind that. It's yeah. it's so it's and probably my opponent the early in the match the footwork's not going to be that great. So now we've done that on the first point. Let's let's cross over to the second point. Let's assume we're we're up 15 love, and <clears throat> when you're serving, the it's uh, what points are the most important you know in a game let's yeah. say you're the server well the first point is really important sometimes players will come out and they'll just start the game you know without a lot of thought you need to get ahead I heard Federer at Wimbledon they said that he considered the first point in a game the most important point he liked being up 15 love like yeah you said. obviously the last point of the game well, is, that's the, important is the most important yeah. but to, to get ahead mm. and and not to have to play catch-up a little bit like a baseball pitcher, you know. You want to get ahead in the count. You don't want to have to be playing catch up. Sure, sure. So we're ahead 15, love. That's good. Now let's think what we want to do on this uh, on this second point. And and again, it, it, it's an old adage, but play the game, the match, one point at a time. You have to really. It takes a lot of concentration. I thought one of the great players of, of doing this, and, and one of the main reasons he became number one was Jim Courier. I thought he taught himself to play point by point tennis, and mm. you could see it was in between points. He had a every as he'd walk, he'd touch his hat, he'd do this, he'd do this. He had the same rhythm every time. Ivan Lendl did the so the same rituals thing. are very very important. Well, for them it, it was very important. Mm. I, I didn't have that. Okay. necessity but but that's what I found because I did a lot of TV you know coverage of those players and and I really noticed it about Jim Courier that his point by point tennis was of, of the highest caliber the way he played one point at a time so we're ahead 15 love and it's early in the match um, let's uh, let's go out let's go out wide to the to the backhand and just see you know what our opponent can do here Okay, we didn't serve and volley, but we wanted to serve and volley. And right, that, that opened up the court really, yeah, really nice. Good, good served uh, wide out to the backhand, got the return down the line. It was just below net height, but the court was open for us to put it away. So now we're ahead 30 love. And one thing I want to point out, you know, lots of people are saying, you know, is serving volley dead? And Federer's been winning a lot this, this year. And I've been noticing that there's been plays just like that. All these guys are so fast, but Federer's able to play a lot of points to where it kind of looked like that. He's a big serve and he's got a wide open court. I, I've been saying it for, for years. Uh, they say, oh, you can't serve and volley today. Returns are too good. One of the greatest returners in the world was Andre Agassi. Uh, and 
two of the great matches that Pat Rafter played against Agassi were at Wimbledon. Uh, and Pat's serve and volleyed on every ball. Mm. Uh, he beat him in five sets. Rafter won in five sets each time um, a, a, against a great returner. So it, the reason a lot of players don't serve and volley is because their volley's not good enough. Yeah. And if your volley's not good enough, you, you, of course you can't. Mm. If your volley's good enough, you can. So I've been really happy to see Roger Federer start to serve in volley more. I've been saying for years, Roger, please, you've, you, when you started out playing Wimbledon, you used to serve in volley all the time. He yeah. beat C Pete Sampras when he, I think, when he was, uh, Roger was 1920. Yeah. He served volley on every ball and beat him in five sets. Beat, uh, took out Sampras and. Um, and, and then after he won Wimbledon, he stopped serving and volleying a lot. And he, he let that part of his game go. Now it's back again. Looks great. And, and, and you can see it's added another dimension to his game. So we're up 30 love. And, and we're, you know, you're just starting out the, the, the match. So we want to see how our different serves are going. We saw our one out to the backhand wide was good. Now we're going to try one out wide to the forehand. Just to see how that rhythm's going on that serve. And we see it, well, let's have another one on that, another go at that. Okay, now, <clears throat> I just picked up something about Diego's game, who is actually playing me at the moment, but now we'll go back to saying he's Diego. Diego's serve out wide to the, to the forehand, he's coming across the ball like that. So he's getting a lot of slice on the ball, but it's not biting off the court. Mm. And when you have a slice serve that goes out wide and it doesn't bite, then your opponent gets a really good crack at it. So Diego, what I'd like you to, not now, but you can go away and practice it. You're, you're thinking out wide, so I've got a slice across the ball. Don't think like that, come straight through the ball with putting a bit of slice but still hit through the ball and out instead of coming across because that ball when it's landing is just sitting up i don't know whether you found that when you do slice out wide your opponent doesn't have a lot of problems with it so you need it to bite when it hits uh yeah we lost that point so it's 30 15 well we'd like to get ahead um uh, 40-15 if we can, but we haven't tried one down the middle. You've gone out wide, so let's try one down the down the middle line. We'll pretend uh, that. We'll wait till we get one in here. Okay. Now let's assume that we lost that point and we're now at 30 all. It's the first game of the match and we certainly don't want to lose our serve. So let's play it tight into the body again. See if we can't just get this point tucked away. So that was your money play into the body. It, most of the time. The point. Most of the time. Okay. <clears throat> And it's worked good for him every time. It's, it's worked good and again it's early in the match and the footwork of your opponent's probably not, you know, at its highest level so into the body works early in the match. Now we want to get out of this game, we don't want to get into an extended game early in the match so let's, let's just go tight to the body again. That's awesome. Very okay, good. so now we're, you know, we've had the first game and we've found out a lot about our opponent. We've found out that if I serve out wide to the forehand and I don't get the ball to bite away, I'm going to be in a little bit of trouble. Uh, and, and, um, and also if I go down the middle and I don't get it really to bite off the court, uh, my opponent's got quite a good return there. Body serves are working quite well. So we've got something now to, to work on as we go, go through the match. But the big lesson there, Peter, I think is that you have to play one point at, on a at a time, play it on its merits, and when you start a game, whether you're serving or returning, the first point, concentrate 100%. Don't wait till the game gets into the game. 
and it's it, the first two points actually of every game should be the key ones. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, we've been talking about serving, but returning now, it's the opposite. You, you think, right, I want to get the first point. I want to try to play, make the server play catch up. I right. need that first point. And um, that's the way you play the game one point at a time. Awesome. Well, can we look at some of the returns now? Yeah, absolutely. All right, good.